What's up guys, in this video I have a brand new mobile tutorial for all of you guys and this one is going to be for the AP Audio Reverb build up and this is a highly requested tutorial because I know a ton of you guys like the editor AP. He's been blowing up recently and has a really really unique style and involves a lot of this unique audio reverb stuff. And that's pretty difficult to do on mobile but with the help of Zen, a really really popular mobile editor, he showed me how to do this and also made a tutorial on its own channel. Of course I messaged him and he showed me how to do it so I can make my own tutorial. And this one is going to be specifically on the build up aspect of it. So I'm going to show you guys how to make the audio and then import it into your project and then make it so it acts as a build up. So guys, I'm going to show you guys how to do that now. And of course, the only specific app we're going to be needing to make the specific audio is going to be Audio Editor. You guys can see it on screen now. So just make sure you download that app. It's free. And then you guys can use any other app to add it into the build up. So without further ado, let's get straight into the tutorial. Okay, so right now I'm in YouTube, and the first thing we're gonna do is obviously get the song we're gonna use to make our build up. So for me, I'm just gonna use So What by Rarin. It's a pretty basic song, and of course, it's non copyright, which is obviously extremely important, as you guys know. So obviously, guys, just open up the song right here. I'm just Let's gonna pause it. It doesn't matter if it's an ad or whatever, just press share and then copy link, and you'll be good to go. Now we're just gonna go into the app audio editor, and as make sure you download this app, it's completely free, and it just makes this whole process way easier. So of course, since it's free, we're gonna have to deal with some advertisements and all that stuff, but let that all go and just press not now or whatever. And then it should say if they found an audio because it was detected on your copy and paste for it. That's what happened when we copied and pasted the link from YouTube. So just do that, press okay. And it should import a new project for us to use inside of here. I'll just let it wait and let's see what happens. So tired of waiting saw, in long car rental lines, grab the this ad. So you guys just saw that did bring up a new project. Since there are ads, of course, it's a free app. Just go, it was obviously the top one, so just go to the top one, three dots, and press edit. All we're gonna do now is just click on the, uh, the audio track and press effects, and just go down to where it says reverb. Just check this on and change it to large room. That's literally all you have to do. Just press done, and you guys are pretty much done with that. Now press the X here. Wait, don't press that. Press this arrow, press the check mark, press export. Just watch an ad, it won't be too bad. Just 30 seconds. Just watch your ad and then import into your project and I'll show you guys how to make it into a build up right now. Okay, so I'm already inside Apple Light Motion and I already made a project for this. It's called Lick Reverb Build Up Tutorial and obviously I'm just gonna open that up. And so basically guys, on the top row, I already have my regular song and on the bottom row is the one with the reverb on it. So I use So What obviously like you guys saw when I downloaded it and the bottom one is the one with the reverb that I just made in the clip before. So all I did right now is all I did was I downloaded the original video, extracted it so it's just the audio, put it in here and it's synced up perfectly so they're both at the exact same time. And then if I zoom out here, I have my clip I'm gonna be using. I'll show you guys right now, it's just a Marvel Classic Kill. And then on, I have a keyframe, which I'm just using as a marker to make sure it's synced up. So here's what it sounds like right now. So just a regular kill, it's already synced up. And it's double audio right now. So the first thing we're gonna do is make it so it's just one audio, or we're gonna make it so we're gonna take out the bottom parts where you don't want it. So obviously I made this keyframe on around the beat drop. So since my bottom one is the one that has the reverb on it, we're just gonna split it here and we're gonna delete this second part. Let's see what it sounds like now. So that sounds more normal because now we know that the after the kill, it's just gonna be the regular song and not the reverb part. So we're gonna do now is we're gonna go where we want the reverb audio to start. So I want it around before we get the kill. So I would say around here. It doesn't really matter too much. So what we're gonna do here is just split it and then delete the first half. And obviously you guys already know that the bottom one is reverb layer. So we're good deleting that. So now we just have this small little portion here of reverb audio and everything else is regular audio. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna click on the top audio. Actually, and what we're gonna do is just, I'm gonna remove this original keyframe if I can zoom into this so we don't have to worry about that so it doesn't disrupt anything we're about to do. Let's go to the first keyframe, or the first point where the reverb audio is. Just put, add keyframe right here, go a little bit forward, and just make this zero. We're gonna go to the same point on here, audio keyframe, go where one where we made the second keyframe of the first one, and one for here. We're gonna change the first one to zero and the second one on 100. So now it should now the reverb audio should go up, 
And what we're gonna do is we're gonna split it on the impact right around here, and we're gonna change this audio back to 100. So I'll explain the process of how this is gonna work right now. So if we go out, I'm just gonna explain this to you guys so you guys understand what's, what, what's happening here. So I added two keyframes on both the main audio track as well as the reverb audio track. On the main audio track, it's just gonna, it starts at 100 and then it goes down to zero. And then this one, it starts at zero and goes up to 100. This makes it so the reverb audio fades in and the regular audio fades out. And then since, oops, I did not mean to do that. And then since I cut it here, right on this first keyframe, it should go back up to regular volume for the regular track. So let's hear what it sounds like now. Obviously guys, it can be executed a lot differently. It's all personal preference. If you guys want to fix it up a tiny bit, just extend this audio out a tiny bit, a little bit more, add a keyframe there, add it go to the beginning, add a keyframe, change it to zero, just so it's not instant, it's just a really small fade. And obviously guys, I obviously recommend making the reverb audio a little bit longer, but it's all personal preference like I just said. And yeah, so this is like the basic to how to make your reverb audio build up. There's a lot of customization you guys can do with this. Just if you guys don't know how to do an effect like this properly, just watch people like AP and people like that who really use this reverb audio a lot. So yeah, hope you guys found this tutorial helpful and enjoyed it. I hope to see you guys in future tutorials. See you guys later.